Welcome to Power Yoga, Stoke the Fire, day 10 of the Empowered series. Today marks a third of the way through the series. So every little bit matters. Let's get started in kneeling. You can sit on a block or sit on your heels and we're gonna start off with breath of fire. In yoga, this is known as Bastrika. You wanna give equal emphasis to the inhales, exhales, you pump the breath in and out through the nose. Kapalabhati, which we've done before, you just focus on exhales. This is inhale, exhale. So find your place, hands on top of knees, thighs, spine tall, chest broad, lungs open. And let's begin in and out through the nose, breath of fire. All right, good. See, we're already stoking that fire. Now, let's come to tabletop pose and then right back to downward facing dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and then find Samavritti breath. So even way breath, breathing in for about four counts, breathing out for about four counts. From down dog, slide forward to plank pose, upper push up on an inhale. And then back to down dog on the exhale, hips up and back. Two more like that, inhale forward to plank. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale forward to plank. And then exhale back to down dog, hold there. Take an inhale, press your hips back. And then on an exhale, walk your feet forward, top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, rise and sweep both arms all the way up. And then exhale, hands to prayer, both arms down by your sides. Keep the left arm down, right arm comes up. Double vertical pulse as you inhale. And then right arm comes down, exhale. Left arm comes up, double vertical pulse, inhale. And then left arm comes down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, right arm up, double pulse. And then right arm comes down. Other side, left arm up, inhale, double pulse. And then left arm comes down. So this is a great shoulder stretch. Inhale, both arms come up to the sky. And then on the exhale, swan dive. Flat back, inhale, long through the spine. Step back to plank pose. And then go ahead and lower down on the out breath. Cobra on the in breath. And then back to down dog on the exhale as we keep stoking the fire from down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga exhale halfway lower. Inhale back up to plank. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Two more of those. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale lower halfway hover. Inhale back up to plank and then exhale back to down dog. One more of those. Inhale forward. Exhale lower halfway. Inhale plank. Exhale down dog. Hold there. Take an inhale. Press back. Sink in. And then on the exhale, walk your feet forward. Top of the mat. Flat back. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, rise and reach, arms upward, salute. And then exhale, arms come down by your sides. Right arm up, inhale, double pulse. Exhale, right arm down, left arm up. Inhale, double pulse, stretch. And then exhale, left arm down. Inhale, upward, salute. And then exhale, chest out over the thighs. Flat back, inhale, decompress. And then on the exhale, lower down with the strength of your chest. Inhale, cobra with awareness. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. Now lift your right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. 
Notice all five right toes facing straight down. Keep the right leg lifted. Inhale forward to plank. And then chaturanga, one leg exhale. Press up on the inhale. Press back on the exhale. Take a good by inhale there. And then down dog, set the right foot down, switch sides. So lift your left leg up parallel to the ground. Same thing other side, inhale forward to plank. And exhale lower down, hover. Inhale, come up. And exhale, come back. Take an inhale there. And then down dog, set the left foot down. All right, inhale, press back. And exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise and sweep both arms all the way up. And exhale, mountain pose. Tadasana, right arm up, inhale, double pulse. Exhale, right arm down, switch. Inhale, left arm up, double pulse. Exhale, left arm down. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, just flowing with that wind of breath. Flat back, draw the wind down deep. And then on the exhale, come back and lower down steady. Inhale and exhale, down dog. From down dog, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. And then exhale, lower slow, either chaturanga or your belly. And then cobra or up dog on the inhale. And then on the exhale, push up, press back, down dog. Two more like that. I call these the 3D push-ups. Inhale forward to plank. And then exhale, lower down. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, push up, press back. One more time. Inhale forward. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, backward bend. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Hold there. Big inhale through the nose. And then lion's breath, stick out the tongue, sigh it out strong. One more time, inhale, let's hear that roar. Exhale, lion's breath. Take an inhale, press back. And exhale, walk or jump. Top of the mat, flat back inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. Take a seat. And then chair pose, both arms all the way to the sky. And then we're gonna add breath of fire into the mix. So let's go in and out through the nose, just like we did at the beginning. Last five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale through the nose, forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back, inhale, step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Inhale, cobra, up dog, and exhale back, down dog. Right leg up, inhale, right knee to right tricep, exhale, hold it there, and then lower the right knee to the right wrist, inhale, and then lift it back up the arm, exhale. Extend the right leg back, inhale, and then flow the right foot forward, deep exhale, spin the back foot flat, and then rise up to warrior one pose. Take an inhale, warrior one, and then hands behind the lower back, interlace. Pull the knuckles down, lift the chest up, and then lean back on the inhale, and then humble warrior on the exhale. So you're gonna drop your right shoulder down towards the inside of that inner right knee, right thigh, and get deep into the largest joint in your body, your hip. Keep the outer blade of your back foot strong, and then rise back up, warrior one on the inhale, and then vinyasa on the exhale. Cobra up dog on the inhale, and then back to down dog on the exhale. Left leg up, inhale, and then left knee, left tricep, exhale. Lower down towards the wrist, inhale. Lift it up the arm, exhale. Extend back, inhale. 
and then flow it deep exhale back foot flat and then rise from the earth reach to the heavens spread the fingers an open hand equals an open heart take an inhale reach and then exhale behind the back interlace on that inhale knuckles down chest high and then on the exhale drop your left shoulder down inner left knee left thigh if you don't have that mobility you can always just kind of set your chest on top of your knee your thigh totally fine as well keep that outer left hip sucking back so it doesn't flare out to the left strong in the feet inhale reverse sweep all the way up warrior one and then vinyasa all the way down with control inhale chest high exhale tailbone to the sky down dog and now we turn that into a sensuous fiery flow let's go inhale press back exhale walk or fly top of the mat flat back inhale fold exhale bend the knees chair on the inhale breath of fire in and out through the nose pump that air Last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, let it all go. Flat back like a vacuum, let the air rush in. Exhale, vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, down dog, right leg up. Inhale, right tricep, exhale. To the wrist, inhale, up the arm, exhale. Extend it back, inhale, flow it deep, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, come up. Hands behind the back, exhale, interlace. Inhale, chest up, exhale, drop down with humility. Inhale, rise up with fearlessness, warrior one. And then exhale, vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, sternum to the sky. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left arm touch. Inhale, wrist. Exhale, up the arm. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, behind the back. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, drop down low. Inhale, rise, we're in the flow. Exhale, vinyasa, a little bit of yoga cardio. Inhale, combine with strength and flexibility. Exhale, back, down dog. Inhale, press. Exhale, walk or spring. Flat back, inhale. Fold, exhale, bend the knees. One more time, chair pose. Breath of fire in and out through the nose. Last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale there, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, flat back, exhale, vinyasa. Your breath is your fuel. Inhale, carrying you through. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right arm touch. Inhale, wrist. Exhale, up the arm. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, flow deep. Inhale, warrior one, rise and reach. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, drop down low. Now inhale, back up, warrior one. And then warrior two, open out and spread. Bob Marley said, you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. You're not going to get stronger without being tested. Keeping the lower body as is, reach those arms up to the sky. We call it tough love. Back foot strong, palms face each other. Now start to lean forward 
and reach out. So the double arm extended side angle stretch. And this is a fiery pose. Fiery in the lower body, fiery in the arms, fiery in the shoulders, supporting those arms. Give it one last little reach and then reverse that warrior. Inhale, come back. And then exhale, cartwheel, both hands all the way down. Step back to plank, upper push up, as we now set up for three yogi style push ups. As if we haven't already done enough, right? Inhale down halfway, exhale, press up. Two more. Inhale, strong core, exhale, calm mind. Inhale, soft jaw, exhale, relaxed face. Take an inhale there. Exhale, lower down slow. Cobra, up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left arm touch to the wrist, inhale. Up the arm, exhale. Extend it back, inhale. Flow it deep, exhale. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, behind the back, interlace. Inhale, chest up. And then exhale, drop down, humble warrior. Inhale, back up, warrior one. And then warrior two, open it out. Take a moment, catch your breath, and just be glad that you're not having to teach these classes at the same time you also have to do these classes. Take those arms, reach them all the way to the sky. Feel your back foot strong, seal down into the mat. The lower body stays as is as you start to lean forward and reach out with both of those arms. Now in yoga, fire is the element of transformation. Doesn't matter whether you're changing earth into lava, water into steam, a stagnant, weakened, atrophy body into a strong, supple, awakened body. It takes fire to promote that change. So we embrace the fire. Reverse warrior, inhale, come back. And then exhale, cartwheel down to the mat, back to plank pose, three more. Yogi style push-ups. Remember, you can always drop your knees. Inhale down, exhale, press. Inhale halfway, exhale all the way. Inhale lower, exhale rise, forearm plank. Oh boy, drop those elbows down. Down to the ground, the fun continues. Still stoking that fire. Now while we're here in forearm plank, we're gonna do breath of fire in and out through the nose. So let's get it done. Pump that air. Last five, four, Three, two, one. Back up to plank, upper push up. Woo, take an inhale there and plank. Exhale, lower down. Big cobra, heart smiles Why? Cause you made it through that craziness. Exhale back, down dog. Huge inhale through the nose. And then lion's breath, let it go. Release that steam. Oh, good. Release the knees down onto the mat. Go ahead and crawl your knees forward towards the top of your yoga mat. Recline all the way down onto your back. Just don't get too excited about that. As you get down onto the back, you're gonna lift your legs up to the sky. You're gonna slide your hands underneath your lower back, your hips. Kind of like you're about to set up for leg lifts because we about to do leg lifts inhale heels come down exhale legs come up inhale down exhale up on your own several more of these as we target the lower abdominals this area in martial arts it's very very important they call it the dantian source of chi in yoga their word for it is kanda Similar thing. It's where all these intersections of channels or what they call nadis come together. 
So this movement helps us to target that area of that lower stomach. Last couple of these. Beautiful. Next time the legs come back up, hold there. And then rope climb. So hand over hand, fist over fist. You're just climbing up that rope, getting higher and higher as you elevate, elevate everything. Body, mind, attitude. So instead of just surviving, you are thriving. Last five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knees and thighs into the belly. Interlace the fingers behind the head and neck. Take an inhale and then right elbow, left knee, right leg straight. Inhale, middle, exhale, other side on your own bicycles this is it and then it's all downhill so last physically challenging thing that we do hang in there feel the agni the fire burning bright right now in your stomach and in that solar plexus there's a reason why they call it solar it's that energy of the sun that warmth that brightness that fiery energy Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both legs straight up to the sky. Extend those arms forward. Last five, four, three, two, one. Release all the way onto your back. Hallelujah. Woo! Play at the feet flat on the floor. And bridge pose is the great counter pose to that abdominal work. So tuck those shoulders underneath and allow the belly to just soften and relax, especially on the exhales. One more inhale there and bridge. And then exhale, release. Slide the hands down the legs, catch the outer edges of the feet for a happy baby pose. Opening the knees a little bit wider than the ribs. Ah, oh, should feel heavenly. After all that fire you stoked. Give those hips a little bit of love. Good. Bring the knees back together side by side. Cactus the arms open. Let the knees drift over to the left. Little spinal twist. If you want, you can rest your left hand on your outer right knee, right thigh. Both knees back up to neutral. Same thing to the other side. Center those knees back up. Grab the shins, draw the knees into the belly, curl the forehead up. One last inhale, squeeze. And then exhale, Shavasana, release. Relax all the way down onto your back. Take a last minute or so here. Enjoy the rest, enjoy the serenity.
nice and easy. Bring the awareness back into the body being supported by the ground. Bring the knees, the thighs back into the belly. Gently rock up to a last seat. Both hands to prayer in front of your chest, your heart sitting up tall in that embodiment of your strength. Slightly bowing the forehead down in that embodiment of your grace and your humility. May you live with a healthy body and mind. May you awaken the power inside and may you live life with wisdom, purpose, and meaning. Stay empowered, namaste. All right, good job, you guys. Benjamin Franklin said that wisdom is measured in routine. So now at this point, you're in the routine of showing up day in, day out. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue this beautiful, empowered series routine. Thank you for your practice.